Hey all, I wanted to do a show and tell of a project I've been working on. I've got the uh, Lego Train 3677 I got for Christmas a year or two ago. Uh, we had one of these growing up, not this model, but another model. It actually ran on two 9 volt, or I guess a, a DC rail that was built into the train uh, tracks. This one uh, runs on batteries. It's in the engine, the front part of the engine here, and then there's a infrared receiver in the back you can kind of see there. Um, it runs off of a, typically when it runs it comes with a remote, uh, and that remote uh, I have there built into a little stand this year, uh, but it's infrared based, it has some wheels to change the speed and adjust, uh, but what I thought would be fun is if I was able to uh, make an app on uh, MIT App Inventor, uh, and I did that, um, and basically what this app does is it controls see if I can get in here. It controls an Adafruit Pro Trinket uh, connected to a Bluetooth uh, receiver that will talk over serial to the trinket. Uh, and I have it powered by a LiPo battery in here. I found a nice uh, cargo van um, Lego model that houses it all. And if you look closely, you can see the infrared uh, transmitters coming up there through the Lego brick. So I didn't have to drill any holes or anything. It's all self-contained. Uh, so I can close that up. Uh, and then come back out here to the app. The app has a connect button. Uh, I believe I'm already connected, so if I hit this, it'll ask me which one I want. And not sure why it's blinking like that. But I'm going to go home quick to restart that. Lego. Train. Uh, connect. And then basically I can hit one of these buttons here to make it go... F Forward, fast, medium, and slow. Reversed, fast, medium, and slow. I'm going to try forward, medium. Uh, it says we're not connected to the Bluetooth device. So I'm going to try to connect over here. See if I can get it. I'm not sure why it's doing that. Uh, now I should be connected. And if I hit medium, it should send the IR signal from that cargo van. And the train will start. It's actually pretty fast. I might adjust that. But you can see it's going around fast. If I hit the slow button, it should go a little bit slower. So it slowed down a little bit. Uh, the infrared works pretty well. Even behind the tree, the train gets a signal. Uh, if I do slow, uh, reverse, I'll hit fast. It's going to start hauling backwards. I'm going to hit medium there to slow it down a little bit. And slow. You can kind of hear it slowed down there. I have a stop button here so I can stop the train. I also have a Jambox uh, Bluetooth speaker back there that's also connected to the tablet via Bluetooth. So I can load a sound file in the uh, Lego app and then hit that. And then that comes out of the uh, jam box that's under the tree and kind of blends in since it's red. Um, I have uh, a nice long train ch chugging sound with uh, some whistles uh, that I'll try to load into the app next. That'll be the next kind of addition to it. So you kind of have a background sound continually going. It's about five minutes long. This is just a, just a whistle for accent. So it's kind of fun. Uh, so again, yeah, Adafruit uh, Pro Trinket. Uh, does all the heavy lifting there with the, the infrared uh, and receiving the Bluetooth signal. Uh, the Android tablet uh, or the Android app uh, was made using MIT App Inventor 2. Uh, there were some issues there for a little bit where it was having trouble uh, holding on to assets. So the images, it would kind of drop every time you went to do a build. Uh, but yeah, everything seems to be working. Uh, pretty, pretty neat setup. Uh, go ahead and hit medium again just to show you that it's still working. And stop. So pretty cool. Uh, come over here. We can see uh, to test the different um, speeds. I had a bit, an Uno set up uh, to USB to the serial monitor on the computer so that I could send different speeds to test which one did what. Uh, there was a library pre-built. Uh, search Lego Train Arduino IR on Google. You'll find the I think it's pronounced Leguano uh, or Lego 
Lego something. Uh, it's, a, it's a library download and you get a sample file. Uh, but I was able to basically write it so that uh, it takes the speed uh, and then receives it, whatever the value is over serial and then puts that as the speed and sends it out uh, through those, uh, those settings there. Uh, just to give you a quick preview of what App Inventor looks like, uh, App Inventor has a graphical user interface and then a block site I'll show you. But once you've compiled it, you basically hold your uh, Android tablet up to the screen with a QR code reader and it takes you to the link where the app is stored and installs it. It's a pretty neat way to do that. I'll click OK here and show you what the blocks look like. Uh, the blocks are its graphical programming. So you can see when I click one of the buttons on there, it sends the number four for uh, fast reversed, fast medium, and fast slow. Uh, same with forward, uh, fast, medium, and slow. Um, there's code here to do the Bluetooth fun stuff, and then a little code here for the sound. So it's pretty, pretty basic, pretty simple, uh, super easy to use. Um, kind of a lot of fun. You start thinking about different projects you can incorporate this into. Uh, but just wanted to show that off. We'll go back to the train for the video out, and we'll put him back on medium speed.